Hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. So uh, in the last tutorial we finally got our fade animation done and now it's time to get into uh, how files are going to work, our file systems are going to work in our, in our game. So a, a real professional and a good way to load file uh, to load game elements are from external files, whether they be text files, any any types of files, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there's a there's a limit to how uh, how complicated th there's a there's different areas about how complicated we want to make it. Now, if you want to make like a professional, professional, professional game, then most likely what you're going to want to do is change your files to binary type files. And so therefore normal people, normal people that aren't trying to like hack your game or whatever can't change certain game elements like the maps and, and so on and so forth, right? We're not going to go um, that above and beyond, right? That is that is for you guys. If you guys want to go above and beyond in loading binary files and binary file formats and all that stuff, then that is up to you, right? It's it's not like I, it's up to you to explore if you really want to do it, right? I'm not gonna really be teaching that in this tutorial series, uh, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be just creating text files to load in a lot of the game elements, right? And since we're going to be doing that, we need, we're going to be making a, a file manager class in order to load in files, right? And and this is how we're going to be loading in the files. Okay, so right now I have paint, I mean, sorry, notepad++ plus plus open. So this is how our file manager is going to load in files. So we have two things. We have attributes and we have content, okay? So the attribute is going to tell us what each content is, okay? And um, that's important to know so then when we load in certain game elements, we know what it is. Now, the way I've set up the file manager class is a, a common way I like to use because it's really flexible, right? There's no set way to do it. You could set a way to handle files or you could have like a restricted way to do it or you could have it free, right? And what I mean by that is this, okay? So... For me, what I normally do is I have load, okay? And I say in, I normally have load equals, and then that that, that, says, that informs us that we're going to be setting some new attributes that we're going to be loading in. So, for example, say I, um, I want to load in an image, okay? I will put an image, okay? And so, therefore, on the next, li on the next line, we know that we're going to be loading in, in an image. So, I could put in the path to the image. So, whether it's in... Uh, um what's the screen so splash dot whatever okay so it knows that we're going to be loading in sorry it knows that we're going to be loading in an image okay and uh sometimes sometimes you only want you're going to have many things within the text file like what we're going to be doing with uh menus and such and therefore you might only want to load in one thing right so you probably gonna you might have like an end load or something and then you'll say that you end load that certain thing. So that means it knows that you're done loading in images, etc., etc. So if you only want to load in, say, images, right, you can have a certain area to load in images. And then when you want to load in certain other element, other elements, then you can say load this and then and then um, finish loading this and you can load in the rest of the stuff later. Right, so it's really up to you uh, what you want to, how you want to do it. So the way we're going to set it up also is that what if we want to load in a lot of attributes at once? So for example, let's say we're loading in uh, a menu. Okay, so we need to know the position for a menu. We need to know the axis of the menu, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Uh, we need to know uh, uh, the different animations the animation for the menu items etc etc so if you want to do that you can do that we can load the attributes like so oh sorry for that so we can load the attributes like so so we can put in our position uh, then we can put in the axis and then we can put in the animation like so so we can put many things on one line if you want to okay uh, so I'm gonna be sh st we're gonna be starting off uh, loading that um, lo starting the file manager class and uh, we might we might finish it this tutorial I don't think we are but we might so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new class 
and we're going to call it file manager now I know you can't see me typing it in but just type in file manager and we're gonna make this public okay so in this manager class we're going to have lists okay so we're gonna have um a list within a list okay so we're gonna have a, a, the one for attributes and we're gonna have a list within a list for contents and you'll see why we have these after but we're gonna make an enum and we're gonna call it load type and we're gonna have two different load types so attributes and we're gonna have contents okay so wait the reason why we have uh, uh, two dimension a uh, two dimensional two dimensional list sorry for uh, attributes and contents is because we want to if we're loading more than one uh, if we're loading more than okay I don't know why that happened okay so if we're loading in more than one attribute or so on and so forth right uh, what we would do is we would say that we're loading if we look at it as an array okay so say we're loading the first line so the first line would be whatever attributes and uh, that would be the first line and then the first element in the first line and then the first second attribute is the first line the third attribute in the first line and so on and so forth so that's how we're going to be storing the values within um, our file manager so our file manager is going to have one function and we're going to have uh, overloads of these um sorry methods and we're just go we're going to we're only going to work with the first uh overload for this method so we're going to take in a uh, two dimensional list and it's going to be attributes uh, another two dimensional list and that's going to be contents and sorry you can't see that but it says contents and you know what for the last for the first thing we're going to take in our file name so now you can see it so it's just going to take three things and if you want to create the uh, overload uh, right now uh, one of the overloads we're going to create is load content string file name We have our list, we have our string, we have our attributes, we have our contents, and last but not least we have our identifier. So that will let us know when we start loading and when we end loading, and for now we're not going to put anything in there. Okay, so now to start off. What we're going to do is we're going to say using, oh, sorry, we have to add in at the top system.io input output. So we're going to say using stream reader, call it reader, new stream reader, and we put our file name in there. Okay. So we're going to say while reader not, uh, while not reader end of stream then we want to load in some stuff so now we're going to say we're going to get line is equal to read line okay so what this is going to do if you haven't worked with um with files before hopefully you have but if you haven't worked with files before uh this is going to read a line within the the text file so what we got to do now is um, if you know with lists, with two-dimensional lists, it's basically a list of a list. So, I don't know if you guys have worked with two-dimensional lists before, but basically to add to a 2D list, you have to add another list. So, think of a, a two-dimensional list as like, um, as an array, okay? And when we create an array or, some, or, or something of some sort or something, uh, we know that if we make a 5x5 five five array, and then we know that um, this f we, maximum we can have five uh, elements across and five elements um, um, vertically, right? Uh, with list though, 
there's no set limit there's no set width right so if we were to look at it in like in the text file right now uh, one line can contain this many numbers in a list and the second list right so think of this as um think of this like it's like so so let's say this list this is zero uh this is zero zero okay and it's equal to that many numbers and we'll say list zero no uh let's say or like we'll say list zero sorry because uh it'll be like zero is equal to whatever so on and so forth so let's say the first line in, in list is equal to that the second in line of list could be equal to uh, these numbers any length uh list two could be equal to any length you want to be etc etc so lists don't have to have a defined um length and how many things they, they could put into them so that is why uh and that is why we're working with them. So to just to end out this tutorial, we're just gonna create a list to put stuff in them. So we're just gonna have temp attributes, and we're gonna have temp contents. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. And we'll finish off the file manager class in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.